So welcome to another Champions Way webinar. This is Sensei Nick. Let's do this. All right, guys, uh, a little bit about Champions Way and Perfect Mind. We were founded in 1998 by Master Free Dordar, the legendary kickboxing champion. We, we currently have, well, we have served over 5,000 small businesses. We employ 60 plus people. We have a headquarters in British Columbia, and we have also have an office located in New Jersey, all right, where yours truly works. If you'd like to follow us on any of our social platforms, facebook.com slash championswayfans, twitter.com slash championsway, youtube.com slash championswayinc. Here's our Google Plus link. I'm, I'm sure eventually they'll ha you'll have like a username. Okay, but right now it looks like it's just going to be a number. Um, and I will copy and paste that and put that into the browser for everybody as well. Uh, myself and John Malik, guys, if you'd like to follow us for content on anything to do helping with the martial arts business, uh, same thing, you can follow me here on Google+. Plus. You can add me to your circle, and I'll add you back to my martial arts marketing circle. And same thing for John Malik. If you'd like to follow us on Twitter, you can follow me at Sensei underscore Nick or John Malik for John. Sensei Nick, Facebook.com slash Sensei Nick D. John Malik, Facebook.com slash John Malik. Today is Follow Friday, guys. All right, uh, we're, we have a lot of great uh, people in the room today. John Hackleman, big shout out to you, sir. If you'd like to add your Twitter handle, okay, into uh, the text box in there, guys, everybody. Uh, if not, if you'd like to follow me, Sensei underscore Nick, uh, at Champions Way, at John Malik, at Free Dodar, at Crewmaster Ace, just to name a few. So we're excited about, um, you know, getting started today. But let's make sure we do that, add everybody, and then tweet it. And then that's how you'll get more followers yourself by sharing that with everybody. Okay, so the takeaways today, guys, the takeaways today. All right, uh, I'm going to go through this quickly, and we're going to go right into it. Sense the next science of email marketing. Why you should give people uh, – I'm sorry. What, I should say what you should give people uh, – I'm sorry. Why you sh why people should give you their email address, okay? Why people should give you their email address. You need to understand why. Uh, the suicide of not having children's birthday parties, okay? Lead nurturing system, which is every why everybody is here today, and then getting started. That's what we'll be going over. So takeaway number one, let's get started first. Sense and next science of social, uh, I'm sorry, of email marketing. Okay, email marketing is a science, okay? And um, I, I remember, it was probably about four or five months ago, I was getting heavily involved into text message marketing. And, you know, I really believe that email marketing was dead. Um, I did a lot of research and I saw a lot of the tactics I was doing, a lot of schools were doing, Champions Way was doing. And, you know, I, I really revamped the system. And now, as, like I said, it's more about a science, okay? And that's what I'm gonna be going over with you today. So we'll be talking a little bit about that, the science of email marketing, it's a science. So first thing you need to understand is that email marketing is a numbers game, okay? Just like the business we're in, we are in a numbers game business, okay? There's all different, you know, you have to sign up more than you lose, point blank, okay? Well, it's the same thing with emails. If you expect to convert, you need to get as many email addresses as you can in order to convert those, okay? If you only get four email addresses, you can't expect a high conversion rate. So I made a little code here, okay, based on the formula that I use, okay? And QC equals quality content or content. T, timing. S, spam. A, call to action. F, frequency. I, B, irrelevant blasts. Okay, I want you to really pay close attention to this one, all right? Irrelevant blasts. L, links, V, videos, O, others, okay? What is, what's in it for others? P, pictures, H, human, I, intro, D, distraction, T, O, text only. Okay, another one I want you to pay close attention to. So th this is really what I break down when it comes to email marketing. So the, the, obviously the most important thing is getting them to go, go through the front door. I couldn't really find a picture of my front door online and I wasn't about to go over there, so... It looks like we're going into some, you know, whatever, but this is the front door. So getting them through the door is the ultimate goal. We're not emailing people and making content and doing things just to talk to them. That's not the goal. The goal is to get them through the front door. The rest is up to you. If you get them in, you have to do your job. So the formula, all right, quality content, okay, quality content, plus videos, okay, plus pictures, all right, Plus, what I have here for L, let me go back here. Links, okay, plus what's in it for others. This is the, really what we're trying to add up, 
All right. So if your quality content is zero, zero, it's no, you have no, the content you're sending out is this irrelevant. Okay. Uh, and you're not sending out any videos. You're not sending out any pictures. Okay. You're not sending out any links. Okay. And there's nothing in it for others. Okay. Then you really can't expect to get any type of conversion. However, if the content you're sending out, let's just rate it. Okay. On a level nine. Okay. You said you're sending out like three to four videos per week. All right, you're sending out like four or five pictures to get your comments. I won't come back to pictures. All right, or right, then you're also you know uh, you're also having five links to every one of these things you're having that redirects them somewhere else. Okay, and this, the scale on what's in it for others is a level ten. Okay, it must be higher or greater than okay the challenges. All right, which is text only. Okay, irrelevant blasts, distractions, and spam. All right, it must be higher than this, okay? The other important factors that I mentioned but are not in this formula, all right, the human element, it's personal, timing, when you send them, frequency, how often you're sending them, okay? Now, let's start with the human element. You're gonna hear me talking about a lot about humanizing your brand, okay? Using the human element of what you're trying to do. Human element means that, I'll give you a really basic example. Don't send your emails from info at championsnj.com. Don't send your emails from business at championsway.com. Maybe you're doing that, okay? But the person should send the email. Even if it's your staff member, get them an email address. If you're using a Champions Way website, you could have all of your email addresses at championsnj.com or at your brand of your name of your school.com. You shouldn't be using at optin or optonline.com or sbcglobal.net. Okay, AOL.com, gmail.com. All right, when you're sending out emails from your business, promote your brand and do it from a human, not from some uh, email address that's going to go into spam. Info and business are not good when you're blasting out and sending out multiple emails. Timing, when you send them, all right, it's very critical. Uh, you know, Mondays are tough, okay? You know, everybody wants to get their emails out. Uh, believe it or not, Tuesdays are one of the best days because everybody's got their week started or late Monday night explore and try to see your open rates in perfect mind to see what are the best times. All right, every area I'm sure is slightly different, but there are co common things like I talked about, like Monday mornings, everyone's so busy and their attention span is a lot lower, all right? Believe it or not, on the weekends, you have higher results because people have the time and they're more relaxed and they're not stressed out. There's no distractions and there's no anxiety. Frequency, how often you send them? Okay, you can send them too much, okay? You don't wanna send them too much. So again, this formula I made up, all right, this right here, you can write this down, must be greater than, okay, not equal to, greater than the challenges when it comes to email marketing, okay? So again, text only, all right, text only emails are terrible, all right, they're just not going to cut it, all right, now I'm saying just text. We're doing this, 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 that, but as I said, there's not even a link to anything. That is a, a, a pretty crappy email. Irrelevant blasts, okay, irrelevant blasts could go two ways. I could be talking about if you're if you're not targeting your emails and you're blasting out everybody about your new MMA program and it's going out to four year olds, they're going to be they're going to unsubscribe. Okay, distractions. All right, if it becomes a distraction for people and the content is not related or does not there's nothing that in it for them, that will be a distraction for them. Okay, and then also so let me go back here again. Oh, spam. I already gave you the the, the ways that spam happens, which is by using info and so forth. So this is what you want to use. Quality content is more of a rating, okay? And then what's in it for others is more of a rating. Quality content needs to be a 10. What's in it for others needs to be a 10. Videos, pictures, links. So what's in it for me? That's what that's what's going to make people open their emails. And I broke this down into what's going to make it work. Education. Educational emails. The benefits of, okay? I have I made a when you see what we made for the SMO clients today, I made it pretty simple. Okay, and everything is following my formula. What's in it for me? Okay, education on martial arts, on mixed martial arts, on BJJ, whatever. Okay, educate. Okay, don't sell. Okay, educate. To provide tips. Tips about, you know, you teaching classes, what you're doing, why you do this, why you don't do that. You, you guys can come up with 20, 30 different ways for tips. Videos are key. People want to watch. They don't want to read. Pictures are good too. You could send some great pictures of your classes, of uh, special times. You're able to do that. Don't forget that as well. 
okay, and other social platforms, okay, linking them back to platforms that are active, okay. Uh, if you're active on your platforms, you want to send them to them. If other people are raving about you, okay, it's really a lot better to send them to a platform where everybody's talking how great it is than you talking about yourself and saying how great you are. There's a huge difference, okay. If you're telling everybody how great you are versus, you know, you go on someone's Facebook page and people are saying how oh, this is, he's great, thank you so much, or their Google Plus page, whatever, okay, that's important. Okay, all these things I'm talking about are tied and connected to a call to action from Perfect Mind. So you start with the campaign, okay? You have your email campaign. Uh, I'm sorry, you have your campaign of what you're trying to do. It doesn't matter if it's marketing or email. All right, and if it's automated, that's fine. Uh, sorry about the spelling there. And then it's connected to a capture form. Okay, it's connected to a capture form. There, you want to have that in all of your email templates. Okay, there's some type of link that tries to get them to you know give their information for some type of offer, some type of special, but you provide them the quality material first, then there's a link, all right? So don't do it, stay away. This is what I want you to stay away from, okay? The spam, okay, this, these are the blasts that I get from several people every single day, uh, you know, about signing up for their programs every single week. Um, get away from info at, or business at your, you know, your email address.com and be more human. And don't be a robot, okay? Send out personal emails once in a while too. So this is an example of going for the wrong target market and, and doing a, a post that goes out to everybody. And then what's happening is you're missing the target. All right, you know, if you're talking about little champions, three and four year olds, five and six year olds, BJJ, uh, adult martial arts, and you're sending it to people that don't have that, eventually they start saying to themselves, why am I subscribing to this? This has nothing to do with me. All right. So when we talked about humanizing your brand, okay, and I'm gonna be talking a lot about this, especially with Google Plus coming out. Uh, people are using Twitter as well. People will can want to connect with you. All right. So you know, using your name for your email address is a lot more beneficial than using the other ones I talked about earlier, business and info. So the takeaway from number one is make the emails come from a person, okay, not info or business at yourbrand.com, okay. Make the emails come from a person, not info or your uh, business at yourbrand.com. So let's go to takeaway number two. All right, why should people give you their email address? All right, and I broke this down into three main reasons. Okay, three main reasons why people should give you their email address. Number one, because you're going to educate them. I don't care if you're talking about little champions that are five and six, uh, adults that are training in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, adults that are training in MMA. Adults are trying to WTF. I've had this argument with several schools, you know, and it just doesn't matter. This marketing is marketing. Okay. Like educate them on whatever it is that you do, but educating, all right, gives them value, get, get, keeps them coming back. And it, that's what they're looking for. Okay. Versus the, the blast. That's always sign up for this, sign up for that, sign up for this, sign up for nobody cares. Number two value. Okay. I have a symbol of a Honda right here. Okay. Uh, when I'm talking about value, you know, it's when you're, that, that's very similar to education, but if you're going to put some type of offer in there, make it a good value, give them something first, then give them even better value of why they should do the call to action today. Okay. Why they should do the call to action on this particular email campaign. What is going on? It doesn't have to be to get them to sign up. It can go back to the free kit. If you looked at the, my emails on the Champions Way Lounge, okay, I not never once sent a, a blog out this week that drove you back to sign up for this, sign up for the library, sign up for whatever it is that I'm offering. I always drove you back to my Google Plus Getting Started ebook. I drove you back to a webinar. I drove you back to a link. All right, think of it that way. Okay, not always. It doesn't always have to be a call to action. It could be a kit. It could be a tutorial. It could be a video. Whatever. The third thing, the reason why people will, will should give you their email address is because they will be able to rate, relate with others with the content that they're getting, all right? So if someone's going to sign up for something on bully prevention, if, I, if I'm marketing towards bully prevention that month, uh, okay, these parents, if I'm providing good content in regards to bully prevention, they're all going to talk about me. That is what you want. They all can relate to bullying. 
all right? Jiu-jitsu practitioners could all relate to secrets on passing the guard, whatever, okay? So you want to make sure that they, whatever you're sending out to them, that it relates with other people are relating. You see how I'm connecting people together? And the reason why is because they'll share it, okay? Uh, they will not share something that does not relate to their friends, that doesn't relate to other people. So if all people aren't going to share your six week for 99 special, but they are, are going to share the secrets on how children could avoid bullying, how children can, you know, whatever, um, gain more confidence through martial arts, how, you know, uh, mixed martial arts can give children uh, or, or no, can help adults with their fitness goals, whatever. That is how they'll share it. The takeaway for this is you need to give them something they want or answers the question why. All right. So you need to give them something they want. Okay. Or it needs to answer the question. Well, why do I want this video? Why do I want this email? Why do I want to look, check out, you know, this guy's website? Why do I want to come in and, and try this course? Why do I want to try the introductory special? So you need to have the content that goes along with that. This is all going to start making sense when you see the templates I'm, I'm developing and you know, I'm, I'm going to go through that. So that is what I want you to understand. Takeaway number three, I changed it. I started with the suicide. Now I just call it the devastation of not having children's birthday parties. Okay. Now, if you're not interested in offering kids, this does not apply to you. If you don't want to have kids in your school, then ignore everything I'm about to say. If you do want to have a children's program, okay, then, and, you're, and you don't want to have children's birthday parties, please pay close attention to this. So black sheep, I'm sure some of you guys know. It's like I, I try to get the video on here. I was going to play it, but then I'm like, eh, whatever. So the link, the black sheep, they have a song. You can get with this. You can get with that. All right. It's called the choice is yours. So here's the choice. What I'm talking about. If you're not offering children's birthday parties, or if you are offering children's birthday parties, rather, this is what I want you to think about. All these kids coming into your school. All right. All, that week after week, five, six birthday parties. You guys remember Sensei Preston did the webinar on Thursday, yesterday. 72 birthday parties in one year. True numbers. 72 birthday parties. Okay? So this is what it could be like if you rock out your birthday parties. And I'll get to why these birthday parties are important. What does it have to do with email marketing? A lot. It has a lot to do with email marketing. <coughs> or you could have your kid's program looking like this. I couldn't find like one kid on a mat. So this looks like a kid who's on the outside. So you could have tons of kids coming through your doors, okay? Or you could have, you know, you know, a couple stragglers coming in every once in a while. So here's the real talk when it comes to the birthday parties. If you're not getting students from your birthday parties, like you did them before, and I hear about this from some people, uh, we did birthday parties that didn't work. Whew. Oh man, let me take a breather for a second here on that one, okay? We did birthday parties that didn't work. We got no students from it, okay? Real talk. Look at the person doing them or the party itself, okay? Like, I don't think I'm the right person to do a birthday party anymore. I did birthday parties when I was 20, up until I was 25, and I was young, and I, you know, I, would, and I wasn't gray, and I didn't have gray hair, or whatever, you know? And like, it, you know, when I talk to people that say they don't have birthday parties, or they don't, they, they don't work, okay, I, I, I just, I'm sorry, like, I don't agree with you. I think that you're making a terrible mistake. Um, if you follow a simple plan, and you're understanding that this is a huge way of getting people onto your email addresses. And I'm going to make it really simple for you. Every birthday party is $249. $50 goes to the school. The rest goes to the instructor. They pay for the supplies. Anyone that wants to do a birthday party must fill out a liability waiver. Get their email address. You don't have to force them to fill out the email address. In most cases, they will. What I would do now, okay, and we, we are starting to do now, is we're going away from the sign-up sign sheet. And we're having it go right to perfect mind. Two reasons. One is when you use the form and people write down their email addresses, if you're off by one letter, okay, then you know you don't get the right email address. At least if they type it in, there's a higher probability. At least you could read it. Okay, they still might type it in wrong, but the, the, the chances increase. If you're not getting students, at least get email addresses from everyone that attends. Okay, that is a value. People say, well, I'm looking to build email lists. This is the number one way to build email lists, okay, for your school. And we've gotten several people that they've come to birthday parties, and that's what we were known for. And then they want to do another birthday party, or they wanted to come for kickboxing. Now, you know, most of these schools now are offering kickboxing, Muay Thai, BJJ, whatever, yoga, 
all these different types of programs, they're feeder programs because it starts at the bottom. If you have a weak student base, it's because your, your bottom foundation is weak. So this is another way to strengthen the core and the foundation and build from the top. So birthday parties, I will have Sensei Preston doing one. He will tell you what he does. He does crazy things at his parties. Maybe you can't do them or maybe you need to move to somebody else, but make sure they're 18. Okay, you shouldn't have kids doing it because if there's an injury and we've had broken arms in our birthday parties. Our birthday parties are wild, all right? So how to get it, two ways. I already went over this, let's reiterate. Use the iPad, okay? We have a Perfect Mind form, okay? Just call it Birthday Leads. Make a form in Perfect Mind, Birthday Leads, okay? If you wanna do it every, for every single one, that's fine. Birthday 11, I'm sorry, 1, 7, 11. You know, whatever. And then everyone from that birthday party, you have them as a lead. Okay. They fill out the form. It goes into that. And then we can put them right into the email nurturing system that I'm about to show you later on. <coughs> or you have a liability waiver before it starts. It's not like this, but I, this is just something I found online. And yes, for the name, the first name, email, phone number, blah, 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 whatever. Okay. And then, or you could also use a landing page that we make for you. At the end of your birthday party, you could do something like this. If you want to weed out the people, but I don't recommend this, you could have this landing page on your iPad, okay? And you could say whatever it is you offer. If it's you know a kid's one, all right. If you're obviously it's a kid's birthday party, but remember you could use the same strategy when you're going out to outdoor events, when you're going to community events. If you're MMA school, you offer no kids, whatever. You could have a simple thing like this just for adults, and you could say, hey, hey man, if you fill out this form, it's a 30-day free trial. They fill it out, you have the lead, it goes right into Perfect Mind. 30 days free, and it looks pretty cool on the iPad too. It looks just like that. Takeaway number three, let's go into the, uh, the the lead nurturing system, all right? Okay, so the way I'm breaking this down for everybody is in the three categories, all right? It's very critical that you understand this. Generate, nurture, convert, okay? So let's start first with generate. If you're trying to generate leads, these are the ways they're going to happen, all right? The number one way, it's going to start with your classes, okay? If you have good classes, people go to your networks. People go to Facebook. People go to Google+. People go to Twitter, all right? Whatever, all right? That, so it starts with the classes, having good classes. And then you have your social platforms, okay? That is another way to generate leads, all right? And I'm telling everybody, be open-minded. One platform I slept on was Twitter. I slept on it <clears throat> for my B2B activity, okay? Maybe it's not great for a martial arts school, but business to business, Twitter, I slept on it, and now I'm playing catch up. I will not make the same mistake with Google+. Plus. Google+, Plus, in my opinion, I'm telling you right now, will be the game changer of 2012. So be open-minded, be an early adopter, okay? And, you know, I have, like I said, my ebook's coming out on Monday, but let me just remind you of one quick little thing, okay? Google's the number one search engine in the world. YouTube's the number two search engine in the world. They just created a social platform with YouTube integrated. All right? Why you would not want to have your business on there, I, I can't understand. You know what I mean? Just think about it. And they are, I mean, I'm doing a lot of research on this. That's why I took an extra couple days because I found it even more. And I'm really concentrating on the SEO and the search and how the posts get indexed by the search engines. That's what I'm trying to bring to you guys so I can give you more logic than just be like a gut feeling that, oh, it's going to be big. So getting back to that, classes, social platforms, I want you to get involved, all right? I tell all my SMO clients, guys, listen, we make the post, the minimal, that's the minimal thing we do as part of our service. We make a post for you just in case you're busy and you're not active, all right? You have to throw up pictures of yourself of your, of your, when you go out to eat, when you go somewhere nice, a cool picture, a video, an old friend, a music video. You saw my Tyson video. Excuse me. All right, but that's what I'm talking about when it comes to humanizing your brand. Get yourself involved. Your website, okay, this starter package here, this is an email opt-in. I could change that to newsletter, whatever. I'll show you, instead of just talking about it in a couple minutes, since August of this year, how many leads my website has generated since it's moved over to Perfect Mind Platform. So another way to generate leads is your website. Now, you will be hearing me talk in the next couple weeks about working with us on multiple websites, okay? We'll be coming back to that. 
And then the content obviously is very important as well. So you, it starts with your classes, you have your social platforms, humanizing your brand, your website and your content. Now, when it comes to nurturing, there's five key components, right? Now, this isn't a component, this is just something I want you to think about again. Being you, humanizing your brand, all right, you know, let, let your, student, your staff post, let people know who they are, okay? Um, and it comes down to video, it comes down to en engaging and interacting. Um, I love people that interact and, and, and comment. That is so critical and such an overlooked f facet when it comes to nurturing, all right? When, you're, when someone emails you back from that email campaign, shoot them email back, okay? Be personable. All right, talk to them, be nice to them. All right, you nurture them on Facebook. That is a nurturing system. LinkedIn, you know, not as much. Twitter, YouTube, okay? All these things nurture people. Email and SMS, educating them with the content. These are the five key components of nurturing through email marketing. And then that leads us to converting. So converting, you know, you can use Google Analytics. I use a lot of different types of analytics for my website because Google only tracks Google. So, you know, I, I do a little more advanced stuff with uh, some of my friends and we look at all the different search engines, but that's a little more advanced and down the road for you guys. You're just getting started, concentrate on the basics. So this is what I'm showing you here. Uh, this is what we do for our SMO clients. This is an SMO meeting. We just invite everybody else so they can check it out. Man, another misspelling, man. My spell checker is not working. So my SMO campaign report is getting larger and larger. And in the next month or two, it's going to be awesome because I'm going to be adding more. So this is what it is now, okay? And I'm sure everybody's like, well, I'd like to get there. And that's right, guys. Since August, 184 leads, okay? Now, there's some test ones in there, okay? Who cares? Say we got 150, all right? But if you look at this, this is our, all of our total campaigns, and now I'm starting to add more campaigns from different websites, from different lead generations. But that's the next level. That's when you got you to get going first with everything else. So if you look here, social site, this is my website, okay? And if you add these numbers up here, birthday parties, back to school time, beach body boot camp, social site homepage, kickboxing, little champions. I don't change them that much, okay? But these are leads I've generated from my website. These are not students. These are leads. Because my landing pages, they're not for students. And it's obvious they're not for students, okay? Get started today. All right, they're not going to fill the form. So all my sites are set up for total lead generation. And I nurture them in my classes, in my emails for my regular students that need more coaching. That's where you nurture them. So my inter internet is all about getting new leads. Okay, so that's my social site. Here's my mobile site. You saw this already. Mobile site will replace the desktop by 2014. So all of our SMO sites are mobile ready as well. 30-day free trial programs. Okay, these are capture forms. Again, when it comes to converting, if you don't have the right tools to convert, it's not going to happen. All right, this is one for Muay Thai. We have some, you know, one for our special ops training program. This is for students. Another one for our kids' 30-day trial. We have several different types of ways we try to convert. So let's go over now the email nurturing system for leads. If a lead is not converted after seven days, okay, we're going to send them one email per week for seven weeks. Okay, this is when they're hot. And then we're gonna send them a monthly free trial, okay, every month, and that's when they get a little bit cooler, okay? Now, what I wanna break down for you first is this, okay? For anyone that's an SMO client, okay, on Monday, this will become available to you. You'll go into the library, and you'll see, you'll see a section called email marketing content. Okay, then you'll see three different sections. It'll say, Leads, nurturing, students to social networks. Right now we have one for your students, okay, several, and then we're not even close to being done with this, and we have eight for your leads, okay? So seven of them are, you know, the, the regular ones we have, and then you have the one for the free trial that you could select, uh, or if you have different ones you want to use, and you can interchange them. It doesn't matter once you have them, okay? But this is how it's set up. And then students, we're going to be adding for students. We're also going to help you with your students, okay? But we do have one ready for students of social networks, okay? And then students general. This will include 246, okay? Non-active, canceled students, you know, the, the general ones, okay? Because we don't want you to waste your time with this. So we're making it for you and you can, you know, add your content in there. So you'll go through here. We have all autoresponder. I personally hate autoresponders. Like, you know, like when someone says, 
Well, you know, as soon as the lead comes out, I want to send them an email response thanking them and telling them I'm going to call them soon. Uh, you know, that, that's fine. I made that, but I, I don't like to use that. I want to call them on the phone and send them a personal email. I'm not sending, I don't want to send them the, the one that says, thank you for contacting Champions Martial Arts New Jersey. We're currently out of the office, but we'll contact you as soon as possible. Uh, to me, that's just not what I want to do. But I made them for you anyway. You know, a simple one that I really don't like uh, because I don't recommend that. Um, you know, but I, I, I prefer calling them immediately. You know, and if, I, mean, I know you're saying, well, I'm a one-man show. I can't. Okay. So what? Then let's set up a better email campaign. You know, that's, or take the time and just, you know, call them real quick if you can. So this, there's not going to be eight. There's going to be seven and then the monthly free option. So that's what it's going to look like. This is what, week number one. All right. And this is how it works. Okay. So and then we had the one for the students. Okay. And the bonus content. These are ones I'm talking about. This will be included. Okay. This will be included for SMO clients. Okay. Two week follow up, four week follow up, six week follow up, monthly check in, expires in 90 days, birthday 120 days, things like that. But this is not ready yet. We're concentrating on leads. That's what I told you we do. But we're going to be making this, me, John Malik, some other people as well, will be contributing just to make content in there. This part here for students, okay, this is a bonus, okay. This, this is for you, but this is not done yet. So let's go over real quick again. All right, how this is going to work. So what you're going to do is when you go through these these sections, okay, you're going to have to add in here your name, okay, and then you reviewed it and then you approved it, and you're going to have to put the links for each particular one that we're working on for you. Right, it'll make more sense when you see it on Monday, and I'm sure there's going to be another webinar just on this, but this is how we break it down. All of our SMO clients go in here. They get to go through the sections. We automate everything for them. They put what they, you know, their name and the links. Once they review it, that means it's been reviewed, and that means we do it for you. After it's been done for you, if you want to change it, you are responsible to make any changes, not us. Okay? We set up the ones that you do. If you're like, well, I want this, I want that. Nope. That's up to you. You want to change it? That's up to you. Okay? So the first one we have is after we've been calling somebody for a week and we can't get a hold of them, we can't reach you. We've been trying to reach you. Click here for the best time and number to reach you. Okay, so this is really simple. We already have their information. So all we're trying to get, we're setting up a campaign for you for time and phone number. Best number, and that's it. They click that, they'll, you'll have all of your social media networks right there, simple and plain. If you don't like this and you don't want the JPEG, we have the text version, okay? My advice is this looks really good. I've already tested it on Perfect Mind. Looks good, the links work. It's really cool. So now after you know we've called them and that one doesn't work, all right, now we want to take them to some, and your logo will be on there as well. Listen to what others are saying. Click here to find out, okay? That is your job. You have to provide us with the video or videos, okay, that you want. I recommend, you know, like whatever, however you, whatever you like to do, but you, could, you basically take these videos and put them into a hidden page on social site, and then you could have multiple or you could have one. All right, and then again, there's your social icons. So we, because we want them to hear what others are saying about us. So the next one that goes after that. Now this is this, this is either martial arts, BJJ, or MMA. Okay, we have three different images for this. Okay, so it's either martial arts, BJJ, okay, MMA. All right, and there's a couple different images you check check here. You're responsible to list the ten reasons. Okay, because you know I'm not going to do them and have and change them. So it's really simple for you to edit. You put the 10 reasons in, click here for our New Year's special, and that'll change throughout the time. All right, so we give them some, some tips there, and then a link here for the New Year's special. The New Year's special, okay, will be a form that will give them whatever special you offer. So this will be helping with this as well. So now, with, after that, you know, we, we, we've tried and we can't get them, all right? Now we want to go and we want to say to them, Click here for a virtual tour of our facilities. So obviously you have to make the video, show them what you what you have, okay, what's going on. They click it, same thing, brings them to a page. Okay, and we have we recommend doing all this stuff. We're gonna do all of it on your, uh, your we recommend you making these pages, okay, and you just give us the link on your social site, okay? Because this will take them back to your website, and then the capture form will be right there, and then they'll surf and drive them back to your website. So again, Here's the value of virtual tour. Here's the value, okay, the 10 reasons, okay, why they should train in the martial arts. Here's the value other people talking about you, 
All right. This is just really trying to get them while they're hot, really not much value yet. Okay. And then after we go from the virtual tour of your school, so they check it out. All right. Then we, uh, we list your programs from your website. So, and if you notice here, I have a free bully prevention kit. There's the value. Okay. And all these are connected to a two week free trial. It's just a form two week free trial. Okay. And you have your logo and your programs on there. All right. And then if they want that free bully prevention kit, click there again, value. And then the final one, this one goes out to your leads as well. Okay. It says join our networks. All right. And then if, if you don't have these networks, we're not going to put them in there. If you only have three, okay. If we're not active on any of these. We do not want to add ones that aren't active. It will go right to these social networks. This will automatically go out to your students. It will automatically go out to your leads once a month, driving people automatically to your networks. All right. That's how it will work. Okay. So still not sure. You're still not sure to everything. All right. Then we follow up with the last chance, the free 30 day trial that's linked to the free trial for 30 days. Okay. And you know, I'm just trying to make them, I have to make this generic enough guys. I mean, you know, like if you wanted something custom, we are available to do custom stuff. Okay. There is an additional charge for that. This is included in our social media service. Okay. Our social media service includes everything from the website, from the mobile site, to the capture forms, to the email nurturing, to the webinars, to the postings on the Facebook, to getting everything set up, to the links, all that stuff's included. All right. Uh, we, but like I said, if you're looking for like, well, I don't like this image and stuff like that, we will not be changing it for you. All right. If you want custom, we are available to do that. Uh, it will be a different for each individual client for what exactly they want. This will be available Monday for SMO clients. All the things are done. We're just testing the functionality one more time, um, and then I'll be going through it for that. It will be available in a text or a JPEG format. Okay, you must produce the links. Okay, then everything will be emailed back to Nicole at championsway.com, Nicole.Dockerty at championsway.com. Okay, uh, before we, we do any questions here, guys, my gift for you for attending today's webinar, uh, the 2012 Game Changer, all right, is my Google Plus Getting Started eBook. It will be released on Monday. I will be posting that link in the actual uh, chat box when I'm done. And anyone that wants that, I will be sending that on Monday as soon as it's done being published and, you know, just proofread and all that other stuff. All right. Cause sometimes I don't have the best of proofreading. All right. So real quick guys, we will now open up the form. I have about 15 minutes for some questions. All right. And let's let uh, shoot away and I'll put this stuff in there. Okay guys. So let's say the first question here, from John Kalakovich, uh, is there any stats on when you provide people with social media links, which one that most people click on? Is it obviously Facebook? John, I would say, I mean, yes, I, no, there are no stats, number one, but number two, yes, you are correct, okay? Um, Facebook, I would think, is just obviously just because of the numbers, that would be correct, just because of the numbers. You know, that's, it's, it's really uh, obviously the most popular platform right now. Carlos Sensei, when I send out an email from Perfect Mind, is it addressed as your website email at perfectwebsite.com? Uh, How can I set that? Great question. Great question. Uh, and what do you would the best thing to do for that, Carlos? There's a settings uh, part that you could change in there. Uh, that So that way it comes out from your email address. You might want to contact customer service on that uh, just to walk through that, Carlos. That way they could show you how that works because you don't want it coming from whatever. You want it to come from Sensei Nick. Like you, when um, I send emails from Champions Way or from my school, I could select who I choose it from. Just have just contact Champions Way to help you get set up with that, Carlos, and just make sure you tell them that uh, John Malik sent you or myself. All right, let's see here. Uh, next question. Keith, the Sacktown Strangler Miller looks – well, I should air because I think a lot of questions are coming in. Uh, you hit out of the parks again, Sensei. Keith, thank you so much. And again, we're just getting started here, guys. Uh, you know, like I said, my main my, my main man, uh, John Malik, will be helping us with this as well. Uh, he, he's just on a different level than me, you know, uh, when it comes to this stuff. So I, I'm really excited as we keep adding to it. Uh, you know, myself, John, I'm sure the rest of the Champions Way team, you know, that is our goal here, guys, is to provide you with the best stuff that we possibly can. So it's going to just get better and better from here out, guys. So thanks thanks for that comment. 
Are you emailing or calling the various things we need to take care of? Uh, Mark, it's pretty much automated. So there will be, you, it'll be emailing. will not be phone calls. It'll be going uh, back and forth with email correspondence to our web team here. So you'll go in there, you'll log in, um, and then you'll, you know, your email address will be listed there, and you'll be going back and forth with that. And I think you asked the same question twice there, Mr. Asim, I think. Uh, GMC, great question. How many testimonial videos do you need? Uh, GMC, what I would do is I would add, like, you know, to, in my opinion, I would probably add three at the most, you know what I mean? Or a compilation of one testimonial of a whole bunch of different people, depending on your abil ability by uh, using YouTube. All right, but you know, there's, excuse me, there's no need for 30. Oh, wow, guys. Big shout out, guys, to John Malik. Uh, he's actually in the webinar. That is amazing. As busy as he is, you know, working on high level stuff there at uh, Champions Way and Purple Mind, guys. Big shout out to, to John Malik, guys. You know, he helped me put this webinar together. So, guys, make sure you follow him on um, Twitter and also on G, guys, because there's no one with doper content than John. Jeff Burrows, Widowblower Minds again. Since uh, Jeff, no, nah, man, I'm sorry, bro. Thanks. I appreciate it. But, uh, you know, again, this was, this was a joint effort. So make sure you guys uh, thank John as well. But thanks, Jeff. I appreciate that, brother. Mike, is, there, is the waiver form with the email capture for the birthday party is already built into Perfect Mind? Do you just build it in from an iPad through the Perfect Mind uh, interface? No, it's not built in. You have to create one, Mike. You'd have to create one yourself. You have to create a form. Uh, and for the liability waiver, um, I'm not sure if you could even – yes, you can do that. Best bet on that, Mike, if you want to uh, tie them both together, would be to contact support. Great point, John. Just, just a great point. Just the beginning. This year it is so on. All right, guys. Just to name other people as well, Krista Kersey, at a new member to our team, cardio kickboxing. We're going to be shooting doing some dope stuff for that. Ace Ramirez, Crew Muay Thai Curriculum. Jay Manley, Gracie Fighter Kids, what's up? That is coming out in 2012. I mean, think about that curriculum, okay? Gracie Fighter Kids, the guy's working with 40 guys all, right, all over. So just a kid's curriculum for that. We have John Hackleman in the pit, all right? We have, I'm trying to think, Ricardo Almeida, all right? I'm trying to think who else we have working with our team down here. Oh, my God, I'm blank. And Jay Manley, uh, oh, my God, who else, John? Help me out if I'm forgetting anybody here. Uh, Keith, so we still want to send out great content weekly plus our deals. Yes, that is correct. Correct, Keith. Yes, sir. Can someone provide an outline of how to run birthday parties, party, uh, etc.? Uh, that is all in the library, Derek. A whole section on birthday parties. And Derek, if you ever wanted to, you can call Preston yourself. I will give you his phone number. And why don't you set up a, a free conference call with him? Um, and maybe I can even do something. You know what I'll do, guys? I'll actually have Sensei Preston do a webinar this week on birthday parties. Um, and maybe, we'll, you know what, John? Let's break it up. Why don't we do a hangout on birthday parties on G+. I'll get Preston over here. G+, hangout, okay, for anyone that wants to learn how to rock out the birthday parties. Uh, ads for special ops course. When will they be available? I'm doing this. If they're not available right now, I'll make sure they're in the library as soon as this webinar is over. The special ops, another game changer, uh, a really quick way we showed our clients to make 2K really simple. Sorry about that, Cindy. Sorry about that. John, how do I sound? Uh, am I sounding okay? Am I far away? Am I okay? Oh, Julie, good question. I, I don't even have my links yet. Like, guys, I just basically came, got this done like in the past week for you guys. So I'm going to be going through my YouTube channel. You guys could visit my YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash champions NJ. All right. And you can check us out there if you want to see our some of our videos. Oh, I'm sorry, Julie. You're talking to Mike. I'm sorry. Okay, let's let me see if we try to get to the bottom here. Let's do next weekend, John. That was back to John Malik. Next weekend. We'll be talking more, guys. That's why you gotta follow us on G Plus, baby. Okay. Google Hangouts for birthday parties, okay? Also, some late night calls with me and John on the new school stuff. Get on G Plus, add me and John, and we'll be adding, we'll be letting you guys know more about that. Yes, follow us on G Plus. Okay, guys, well, listen, if there's any other questions, I will leave the room open for another 30 seconds. If not, guys, please again 
Uh, follow us on G+. Add Champions Way to your G+, page as well. We'll be posting updates on there. Okay, guys, and that is pretty much it. I'll open up the forum for two more minutes, and if not, that'll be our last question. Okay, guys, well, it looks like that's it for today. If anybody has any questions about Perfect Mind, social media optimization, anything, please contact my main man, John Malik, the best in the business. Okay, this is Sense Nick, John Malik, signing off on behalf of Champions Way, guys. Extension 6310 for my main man. Everybody have a great night. Okay, guys, and we're out. Everybody acting like a New Year. Go uptown, New York City, beer. Some Spanish girls love me.